Good morning vlog! Today is a Saturday, so we're gonna go eat lunch. Bird is craving Filipino food, which whenever that happens, I'm never opposed because Filipino food is amazing. Delicious. <laughs> and we've really been on a Filipino food kick ever since I filmed that only eating Filipino food video for my main channel. I'll link it in the cards in the description box if you guys want to check it out. But yeah, we're gonna go eat Filipino food. But here is the fit check. Well, ignore my blue socks. Those actually my mom got for me, I think from Walmart. <laughs> and I've been wearing them for like five years. But anyway, we have pants from Uniqlo. They're like cargos. And then this is a Disneyland hoodie that I got on a recent trip. And this is Disneyland. Bird, can you help? Oh yeah. Can you help move my hair so they can see the back? Can, can, you see can you guys yeah, see? I think so. <laughs> and then, yeah, so it has Disneyland and then a unique glow tank top. So, very simple fit. And then, Bird. I'm wearing socks from Ross, but I think they're like the. Oh, they're Champion. Champion brand. Okay, yeah. They're just socks. Yeah, they're and comfy. then pants, um, unique glow? Pants are unique glow. These are called the U Wide Cargo Pants. I, think. <laughs> I like how you know the name. I literally don't know the name of anything that this I is bought. This the Essential Pop Over Hoodie from. Abercrombie. Ab Abercrombie. And then what about shirt? The shirt is just. Oh my god! There's so much fur on your. Yeah, just don't get, <laughs> don't get too close. To it, first of all. And then the shirt is just. Hey, what the? <laughs> she thinks it's a toy. Um, yeah, shirt. The shirt is. Target. Some, no, I think it's Old Navy. Oh, okay, like Old some Navy. Random white shirt. That okay. I bought. And then and bag, bag is, is unique glow. Unique. And hat Saint Motel. From Thank a concert you. that we went to many years ago. What, what's happening? What's happening? These are the shoes that I'll probably wear. Oh, okay, he wants to show I'm shoes. Clean them a little bit, but... These are hokas? Yeah, these are hokas. And they're water resistant or something? They're, I mean, they're not advertised as it, but they're supposed to be kind of water resistant. They're pretty nice shoes, though. They're cool. I like yeah, them. Yeah, I like them. Anyway, let's go eat. Let's go! got a calamansi juice. Whenever I see calamansi, I always get it. It's like a Filipino citrus. It's so refreshing. I like it better than orange juice, but it has like an orange juice kind of flavor. Almost like a tangerine juice. I love it. It's so good. Let me calamansi it. Okay, bird. That kind of tastes like a orange lemon thing. Yeah, it's like, it has hints of orange, but then it's not really like orange juice either. Yeah. It's like, I kind of feel like it's more like tangerine. Oh, the eBay is like, mm. it's so good. Okay, our food just came. Here we have the kare kare, and it has oxtail in it. And then we have the sizzling sisig, and we got it with a combo of pork and chicken. We also got the fried egg on top. Bird, will you do the honors with the lemon? Wow, the lemon makes it so good with the acidity and tanginess. <laughs> I'm trying to get every drop. I know, you really are trying to get every drop. My God, you're committed. That's anyway, every drop. <laughs> okay. And then of course we had to get a side of garlic rice. It comes in this big bowl. Let's eat. Gotta get some of the sizzling seasick with the garlic rice. Look at that. Oh my god, so good. The meat is so tender on there. And it goes so well with the garlic rice. And all the seasoning and spices and stuff that they put. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna get some of this carne carne. I've never seen it come in this like kind of little pot yeah. type thing. It's very cute. Ooh, we got the oxtail and the bok choy. Oh, more of those vegetables on there. Yum. And then they also gave us some shrimp paste to go with it. Just gonna add a little bit first. Ooh, it looks so good. Wow, it's peanutty, it's creamy. Also, the shrimp paste adds like an umami dimension. So comforting. This is literally the definition of comfort food. All right, this is actually what we came here for, or this sparked our visit. Bird loves sinigang. It's like a sour tamarind soup, and he loves it. And they make it really good here. 
So you can choose which protein you want, and they have a bunch of different kinds, but we got the lechon koali, which is like the fried pork. And yeah, this is everything you need on a cold, rainy day, literally. Mm. How is it? Delicious. <laughs> Very good. That's Bird's fave. We literally have so much leftovers, look. <laughs> We're packing up the leftovers, and look at all these leftovers. We're gonna eat really well this week. <laughs> <laughs> it will feed us for the entire week and then they also brought us this hollow hollow on the house so sweet and it's so funny because we were debating if we wanted to get hollow hollow and they basically made the decision for us so i'm really excited because it's not every day that i get to have hollow hollow and i love it why does no one talk about how hectic it is that it makes hollow hollow <laughs> it's always overflowing wow look how purple it is Oh, I love Halo Halo. Mm. So good. good morning vlog! It is the next day. Yesterday after we ate lunch, we kind of just went home and chilled with the cats. I did some work. It was very chill Saturday. Also, we wanted to mention that while we were waiting at the Filipino restaurant yesterday, this very nice lady recognized us and she had just got some desserts from the place next door. It's called House of Silvanas or Silvanias. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's like a Filipino dessert. And she let us try one, it was so good. So I actually was planning to buy a box after lunch, but then we had the holo holo, so we were just like too full. But <laughs> in the but future, those are very tasty. they're really good. I'll pop a picture here so you guys can see. But anyway, shout out to her though. Yes, shout out to you if you're watching this. But yeah, today we are in the Newark area and I saw that they opened a Hinodeo ramen here and it's originally from SF. I've been to the SF locations quite a few times, like a handful of times, but it's been years and they seem to really be expanding because I feel like they're opening all around the Bay Area, but we're gonna go. Bird doesn't even remember if he likes it or not, so <laughs> let's find out if Bird likes it. I think I remember liking it. I've been there quite a few times, but yeah, let's go eat. Ball out. <laughs> Okay, we ordered some shishito peppers. Usually when I see shishito peppers on the menu, I order it because I love shishito peppers. Although it wasn't until recently that I ever had a spicy one. Like before that, I ate hundreds of shishito peppers and I never had a spicy one. It's supposed to be one in 10 is spicy, but I was just starting to believe it was a myth. But recently I did have a spicy one. Anyway, that's me. <laughs> Let's try these. Cheers. Cheers. Is your spicy? Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, a little spicy. A little bit? Oh, mine is spicy. It's not hella spicy. It's just like very lightly spicy, personally. To I like me. the seasoning though. It's good. Yeah, I like the way they cook it. Like they put it in this like kind of soy glaze type thing ish. I don't know. With sesame seeds? Tastes good. Mm. Okay, so our ramen just came. I got the Hinodea ramen and it's like a dashi broth with chashu, bamboo, a soft boiled egg. It looks like they only give half a soft boiled egg. And then they have some fish cakes, seaweed, also some like spinach in there too. And I got the mild spicy and Bird got the non-spicy. We got the same thing. <laughs> Let's eat. Look at my plate, look how much green onions they gave. Oh my god, that's the dream. I love I green know. onions. Me too. <laughs> I got a lot of green onions too. Mm. I guess they just give that many green onions. <laughs> Let's look at the noodles. Ooh, they're like a kind of like thick, and you can see they're kind of like wheat noodles ish. This looks so good right now. I feel like the noodles soak up the broth flavor. Noodles have a little bit of bite to them. They could be chewier though, yep. in my opinion. But nice, and it looks like they're pretty generous with the noodle portion yeah. as well. Shall we try the cha siu? Perfect. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Not super fatty, it's pretty firm, but it's not like tough either. So not bad, I'm not mad at it. Now for the egg, it looks jammy. That's perfectly cooked. I like this place for more of like a lighter ramen. Whereas if you go to another place and it's like 
then you get like tonkotsu ramen and it's like really thick and dense and creamy. This is like a nice contrast to that. This hit the spot. Good morning vlog! Today I am about to head out to lunch with my family. I think we decided we're gonna eat at Fuck Him Long, which I'm excited about because I haven't had it in a in a quite a long time. And then later tonight I have plans for a birthday dinner. It's a late birthday dinner because it's supposed to be for my birthday, but my birthday was like a month ago but it's a late birthday dinner with my friends so we're gonna go to this place called Sapporo and they have like some pretty good happy hour deals like they have 50% off sashimi so I'm very excited about that but anyway I'm running late let's head to lunch <laughs> Wait, you can just rip it, you think? Yeah. I don't think you can. Check out the skill, right? I think pretty sure you're, it's gonna... Oh. Yeah, I think... Oh. Honey! Help! Honey! <laughs> I did it! Look, see? There Look we go. Skill. This place is like... the Supposedly the best bun me place. Oh. This one is their location in Mopitas though. I think the one that they're more known for is in San Jose. The ham is good. Nice. Oh my gosh, we have not been to Trader Joe's in so long. I'm excited to see what they have. Oh my god, look at how pretty these flowers are. It's spring. Spring has sprung. Allergies. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's true. We have been having gnarly allergies already. Oh my gosh, they have these Portuguese custard tarts. Okay, we have to grab these. I have not seen these at Trader Joe's before, so we're grabbing them. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I feel like the whole Trader Joe's dessert section, we had a phase. Don't you think, Bird? Yeah, because like we had a mochi phase, we had a bonbon phase, we had a frozen chocolate banana and chocolate strawberry phase, we had ice cream sandwich phase, both for both of these. And we also had a hold the cone phase as well. Any new flavors that look good? Oh wow, that's surprising. I feel like it used to be every time we come to Trader Joe's, they would have the boba ones, but yeah, they don't have it. Dulce de leche looks good. Ooh, strawberries and cream gelato. That also sounds good. Oh, wow. I've never seen this before. Spicy honey. It's basically like hot honey. 
let me know if you guys have tried this and if it's good because I don't really want to buy one and then not like it. So let me know if you guys have tried it. Ooh, is this like, is this like garlic noodles? Garlicky pasta. Oh, so it's not like garlic noodles? It says it's Italian pasta, but it sounds like garlic noodles and it looks like garlic noodles. It looks good. I'm curious about this. I love garlic noodles. Oh my gosh, is this new? I've never seen this before. Yeah, I think I think we have to get it. <laughs> it looks like the one that you can buy at Costco, kind of. Okay, I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I also love these, and it's vegan. I never would have tried this if it wasn't for a video, but ever since that video, whenever we go to Trader Joe's and we see it, I always grab some because I really like it. It's so flavorful. Chocolate. Oh, this is what you chose? It's dark chocolate though. You don't like dark chocolate. Try. Okay. Oh, I love the Indian section at Trader Joe's. Oh yeah, we love lamb vindaloo. We gotta stock up. Oh, I feel like you can't go wrong with any of these. I also really like the butter chicken. <laughs> and we have to get the garlic naan too. Oh, so good. All right, we are back from Trader Joe's, so let's do a haul. Wow, I don't even remember last time I did a Trader Joe's haul was. That's how long it's been since I've been to Trader Joe's. And I used to go every single week. So this is telling me that I should go to Trader Joe's more often. But we've also been traveling a lot this year so far, so I, that's also why. But anyway, we also, when we got home, we had a package outside and I just wanted to show you guys. We got the Zindru chili oil. If you guys have been watching for a long time, I think you guys would know that Zindru chili oil is our favorite chili oil. This is literally not sponsored. Bought this with my own money. We just love it a lot. And I bought this because when we had dinner at my mom's house, she was, she kept showing me her Zindru that it was getting low. So she is constantly asking me to remember to order her more. So I got her a bunch so that she won't run out for a while. This is a three pack. The one that my mom likes is the X batch. This one's pretty spicy but they have one called the og batch and that's like their less spicy version that one honestly i don't think is that spicy at all so if you don't have a high spice tolerance i would recommend the og batch because it still has a lot of flavor but if you like spicy definitely try the x batch it's so good and so this is going to my mom and i also got another one i got two three packs of x batches so anyway when i give that to mom she's gonna be so excited because it should hold her over for a while but Back to the Trader Joe's haul. So first up, we got some of the Indian food. So we grabbed two lamb vindaloo. This one is probably our favorite out of all the Trader Joe's Indian food, but we like pretty much all of them. So we also got the butter chicken and the chicken tikka masala and the garlic naan is a must. And then I also grabbed the vegan Thai green curry. I love this stuff, so good. And then we also got two bags of these middle eastern style kebabs and we kind of like to keep these in the freezer for like little snacks we don't actually usually eat this for a meal <laughs> like if we get hungry in the afternoon and we want something like more substantial or like more proteiny we go for <laughs> these kebabs so we like to keep these stocked in our freezer then we also got the garlicky pasta i'm very curious to try this i love garlic noodles so i feel like it can't go wrong but who knows I'll see. And then I was super excited to find these Portuguese custard tarts. In the picture, they look really good. Like they look so flaky. So I'm very excited about that. And I like the Portuguese custard tarts from Costco too. So I'm excited to try the ones from Trader Joe's. And then we also got a hold the cone coffee bean. I like when it has the chocolate cone better than when it has like the normal cone. And I haven't had these little cones in a while. So we picked up the coffee one. Then Bird picked out these two snacks. This one's a dark chocolate covered honey grams with sea salt. And then we have cocoa baton wafer cookies. He really likes these like pirouette thingies. So those are his picks. And then my pick was the classic like Trader Joe's Taki dupes, I guess. The flavor of these is not as intense as Taki, which I actually kind of like on a more regular basis because sometimes the Taki flavor is just like too much. So I really like these. I still love Takis though. And then I also saw these brown sugar boba mochi that I've never seen before. So we had to give it a try. These look like the ones you can get at Costco, which are the Tropical Fields brand. I wonder if it's the same because the photo really looks the same. Maybe after we're done with the haul, I will try this. So we can have a taste test. Then I also picked up some cookie dough and I've actually never had the Trader Joe's cookie dough, but the reason I got this is because, I don't know if you guys have seen this on your like Instagram or TikTok or whatever, but people are adding like cookie dough into croissants and making like a croissant cookie situation. I think it all started because this 
bakery in Paris started doing it, something like that. And then so people online started doing it. And I don't know, it looks really good in the videos that I've seen. I feel like everyone has been saying it's really good. So I'm really excited to try it. I have the cookie dough. Now I just need to get some croissants. But when we do end up trying it, I will vlog it and let you guys know what I think. Then I also found this tangerine probiotic sparkling beverage. And lately we have been really into Olipop. So this sounded similar-ish. So I'm very curious about it. I'm thinking maybe we even try it out right now. I'm like so curious. Oh, it smells really tangerine-y. All right, I have a cup with ice. Just gonna pour it in. Oh, whoa, it's actually like not sweet at all. I expected it to be a little sweet, but it's like not sweet. Hmm, tastes like orange without the sweetness and bubbly. <laughs> Interesting. I definitely like Olipop better. I mean, obviously they're different, but I think I would like it if it was a little sweeter, but it's not sweet enough for me. <laughs> yeah, it's just okay. And I feel like the tangerine flavor could be stronger as well. Hmm. Let's also try the boba mochi, shall we? Where do you want to come try boba mochi? <laughs> oh gosh. All right, cheers. Hmm. It's chewy. It has a bit of a brown sugar flavor, but not much actually. And the boba, it's like the same texture as the mochi part. Yeah, I can't so it kind of just like blends in. Yeah, I couldn't really taste the boba, it just tasted like mochi. Yeah, it kind of just tastes like a ball of mochi with a little bit of like a milk flavor from the, you know, that little milk filling type thing. Mm, it's okay. I wouldn't get it again. Yeah. Can I try this? Yeah, go ahead. What? <laughs> it's not sweet, right? I knew you wouldn't like it because it's not it sweet. It's like medicine. Wait, what? No, it doesn't. Like orange medicine. It doesn't taste like medicine. I feel like medicine is sweeter than this. Oh, I want to try the these. Oh, okay. Did you show them this? Yeah, I did. We can try it. Do a taste test. It's called honey grams with sea salt. You did a horrible job opening. <laughs> okay, there you go. There, there we go. There we go. Cheers. Oh, whoa. Whoa. It's super thick. Hmm. It's so thick. It's not bad. I feel like it's pretty fun to eat. It's super thick and crunchy. Yeah. I kind of wish it didn't have the sea salt though. Oh, you don't like the sea salt? Mm. Mm. Not bad. Hmm. All right, that concludes this mini Trader Joe's taste test. Now I have to put all this stuff away. And it's super nice because we recently got, well, not that recently actually, like late last year. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Late last year, we got a chest freezer. So that really helps with the freezer space, especially because whenever I do like Costco videos or Trader Joe's videos, I have to buy a bunch of stuff and it makes our freezer super full all the time. So the chest freezer really helps and we have been enjoying the extra freezer space. Anyway, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. So if you made it this far, comment below, Trader Joe's rocks. <laughs> I think Trader Joe's rocks. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.